Hi everyone, I am Rick from Healing Field Farm. It's a farm that we have uh, just started over the course of this last year. And our first YouTube video we thought we would share with you how we got to this point. Uh, we had talked quite a bit about kind of getting away from the normal everyday grind. Um, we were looking for different solutions on what we could do. We talked about tiny houses, we talked about schoolies. Um, we ultimately settled on buying a piece of land and we built a small tiny house shed conversion. We had bought the land uh, in March of 2020 and we decided that we would work on it over the course of the next few years and then that would get most of the kids out of school and then we would have everything ready to go and move in and start living our dream. Well, then Corona happened and the house that we were renting, our landlord got Corona. And after speaking with his family, they decided that they were gonna sell their properties and move down closer with their kids. So they put our house up for sale. So that kind of fast forwarded all our plans and kind of left us trying to figure out what we were going to do. So we had already bought the land, we had that, and then we talked to some local builders up here in northern Maine and decided on a shed. So we bought the shed. We had the company that we bought the land from put in a gray water system for us. And the pad for our, for our house. So we moved up to Northern Maine around June. We rented an apartment while we were working on the house because the house didn't come until late June, early July. Um, and we pretty much spent every waking minute here building and getting it livable while we in between working and everything else. So we moved in in October of this year, still not 100% done, but it's, it's livable, has everything we need. Um, ultimately, our goal is to start a big farm. Um, most of 2020, all our finances and time were aimed at getting the house done. So 2021 is the year we'll bring animals in. We've already ordered pigs for the spring. We've ordered um, goats and possibly a guardian livestock dog for the summer. <clears throat> so we did all of the inside work of the house ourselves. Uh, minus the electric and the plumbing. We hired out a plumber because I just didn't have the time to do that on top of everything else. And my wife's father helped and we got all the electrical done because I don't know anything about electrical. So I'm not going to try to do something I'm not confident in my ability to do. So we got that. <clears throat> Power got in around August which made things a lot easier because we were pretty much building everything with battery operated power tools and you can only do so much until the battery runs out. Um, we have remodeled already in this house. Uh, once, when you get a tiny house and you get in there, you kind of feel that maybe the space isn't used the best way. So, we re remodeled the bedrooms, made the bedrooms a little smaller to give us more room into the kitchen areas and living room area. So overall, it probably cost us around $8,000 to finish everything 
on top of the cost of the the shed, which was around around ten thousand, and so ultimately, you know, we're we're eighteen thousand dollars to build a house livable. We we do have payments still on the land, but they're very manageable and much better than what it would be to rent somewhere or even go buy a house and get a thirty year mortgage, and and that was kind of the point because we didn't want to spend our lives working just to pay the bills because there's just really no way to live and it, it's very stressful and it just seems like you get nowhere in life and at some point it needed to stop and that was a, the decision we made um, this moved forward faster than we thought it was going to be but with a lot of faith and trust it, everything has worked out so far so we are now into winter there's about two feet of snow outside so not really getting a lot done outside um, but we have been bringing in materials to get everything set up quickly once that comes so back to the house uh, we have built a two bedroom one bath kitchen living room shared area um, like i said we did remodel it it was originally three bedrooms because we do have uh, quite a few children and figured that they would come up. But overall, the living space was more important to us. So when they do come up, we have air mattresses or whatnot for them. <clears throat> the, we, we framed everything uh, two by threes inside. Everything outside is two by four with, with trusses. Uh, very well built, steel roof. Uh, six windows, uh, front door, and then big French doors on the back, so which makes it even more spacious. Uh, we can fit everything in here we need. Uh, washer, dryer, stove, fridge. Uh, they're just a little on the smaller side. So uh, we currently actually have two fridges going because we just bought a new one. And we wanted to downsize. And then we're going to get a bigger freezer down the road, which is what we'll need more for the animals and such so <clears throat> the plumbing we did everything in PEX uh, ties into the gray gray water it was really simple we use an on-demand hot water heater uh, we have had a few issues with the parts of the pipes freezing with it uh, JB weld great fix um, it works very well and <laughs> I've had to fix it a couple times so that's the, really the only issue um, especially up here in northern Maine it does get very cold but we have not had any issues with the pipes knock on wood and that that's really the only struggle we've had uh, this winter and like I said it was an easy fix within a day we were back in business so um, the house itself is mostly complete uh, it's really just trim work at this point and finish some flooring uh, we are in the process of redoing the ceiling uh, we had to rush uh, to get things livable so we you know got some cheaper paneling for the ceiling even though it wasn't what we wanted but it got us in here and now we're slowly just changing it over uh, to what we wanted so um, it has been an experience it is has been very stressful at times getting us to this point um, couldn't have done it without my wife uh, without our kids it's really a team effort and brings us all together um, and, and yeah like it, it has been an amazing journey so far so if anyone has desire to stop that everyday grind wants something better something simpler wants to get out from under debt get out from rent um, this is very doable I mean we started we had very little money saved very little in our credit neither one of us had had great credit so we went alternate routes and did owner financing um, the interest rate was a little higher but the term is a couple of years versus you know a 30-year mortgage at twelve hundred dollars a month that's just ridiculous you're you're working to pay the house that you you won't be able to retire in so we went this route 
like I said, the house for the most part was about 18,000 finished. Um, there is still some improvements we want to make. So probably when everything's 100% done, we're, we're probably looking at 22,000 altogether uh, once, it's, once it's said and done, which is very feasible. And if you break that down over the course of a couple of years, you're, you're paid off easy and you know you're, the money you're coming in, it's not all going out to bills and you're actually making good progress, um, saving money, building what, what you really want in life, whether it be garden, animals, maybe you don't want any of that, maybe you just want a simpler life. It can be done and we're proof of that and that's why we're sharing this video with you um, and we're going to continue uh, to share videos of the journey we take and we will hope that you would follow us um, every one of you I hope that everyone can get something out of these videos and may maybe make your own dreams come true so thank you uh, please like and subscribe and we'll talk soon